In this video, we're going to go through the solution for problem sheet one, question one. So the question says two charges of one microcoulomb and two microcoulombs have a separation of 10 centimeters. What is the electrostatic force between them? So hopefully you'll have identified that this is a problem that's looking at Coulomb's law. And the equation for Coulomb's law is this one. So this is when we were talking about the distances between charges and the sizes of them, and that meant we could find the force. It's worth noting that you may also see Coulomb's law written in this form. They are exactly the same, it's just in one the equation's been compressed to make it a bit shorter. So what do all these terms mean? Well, we know that F is the force between the charges and that's what we're after as our answer. Because we're trying to find this, that means that we should be able to find all the other information we need to solve that equation. So let's start working on what we've got. So, where have we got to? So, what have we got? So, we're going to say that Q1 is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. Why is it times 10 to the minus 6? Well, that's because it's micro coulombs. We're going to say Q2 is equal to the 2 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs because that's the 2 micro coulomb charge. The separation R is equal to 10 centimetres. However, we need to convert this to metres to be able to put it into our equation. And 10 centimetres is 1 times 10 to the minus 2 metres. No, it's not. It's 10 centimetres. That's 1 centimetre. There we go. It's 10 times 10 to the minus 2, um, or 0 0.1 meters if you want to do it that way. Um, it's just having some familiarity with what these are so you can convert between them quite happily. So now we've got all of these what we're going to do is we're just going to put the numbers in the formula. So I'm going to have a nice clean slide so we can help. So we want to find F is equal to right Q1 is 1 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by 2 times 10 to the minus 6, that's the top bit, divided by 4 times pi times epsilon naught. Epsilon naught is a universal constant and we're given this. It's 8.854 times 10 to the minus 12, and that's in farads per meters, but we don't need that for now. And finally, multiply that all by r squared, so that's times 0 0.1 meters. I'm going to put it in brackets and square it. Um, and what you do is if you put all those numbers into your equation and work it out with the calculator, um, please get familiar with your calculator. You might find it easier to use the memory function so you can retain accuracy, but we're not too worried about it here now. But what you should end up is a final answer that the force between the charges is about 1.8 newtons. And that's how you do question one.